Hi, I'm Shu. I was recently invited by MGTO to spend a few days in Macau to see what food, culture and sites the region had to offer. Here's what I got up to. Good morning. So we are starting our first proper day in Macau today. We've got lots planned, lots of walking around the city and then we're going to finish the day off by looking at some baby pandas. I'm super excited. So let's see what we get up to. What you see above me is St Paul's. Now this was built in 1583 and then it was burnt down three more times and the last refurbishment was 1602 where they only built the front of the facade because it just kept burning down all the time. But what's unique about this is that it has different Chinese motifs on this church and you can see dragons and Chinese characters and it really combined the Portuguese and the Chinese together. Let's go and see some more details about it. of Shum Hong, which is the Monkey King in Journey to the West, which I watched when I was growing up, then you might recognize this character. So this temple is called Nga Dan Mil. So this is a Taoist church and the ruins of St. Paul's is Christian. So by building them together, it's meant to show the harmonious relationship between the two religions. Obviously I had to feature this because Shum Hong was my favorite, favorite TV program growing up. <laughs> Lover's Lane. In Portuguese this was originally constructed for the love of God because you can see the ruins of St Paul's from here but the Chinese kind of mistranslated it and changed it from a religious thing to more of a love between people. This is a popular shoot for weddings and lovers and things like that because it's meant to bring good luck and romance. Okay, so right next door we're at the Love Lane 7 Inn, which is a hotel and also an ice cream shop showing lots of different types of Japanese ice cream that's been imported from Hokkaido, I think. Last time I had Japanese ice cream was matcha and white peach flavours, which they have down here. This time I've got grape flavour, which I've never tried before. So refreshing and sweet and delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Amazing. I'm excited for mine. <laughs> no! George's got black sesame, isn't it? Yeah, I've never tried it. It's for a traditional Chinese flavour. It's delicious. So I'm gonna do a taste test with George and see what he thinks. You're not having mine. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I film your taste test, but I might sneak one in. Okay. Sneak a lick in. I'm gonna get it all over my face now. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. It's like different tastes that I've never really tried before. I'm gonna take back my saying that I'll never give you some. Do you want to try it? Oh, so you like you ended it with you on camera. <laughs> yeah, off camera. Like, no. It's nine in the Okay, we're just trying some blue butterfly tea and it's blue here. But when you pour it out. It's magic, it goes purple. I know, mind blown. It's purple. Wow, yes. This is ludicrous. It's magic. Harry Potter's been here, isn't he? No shoe, Harry Potter's in a film, it's not real. You're just a muggle. Very, very sweet. Um, very lemony with the citrus. And yeah, it's refreshing. It's very different to anything else I taste. This doesn't taste herbal or anything. This tastes fruity. Nice. It's good. It's very, yeah, the lemon. Oh, she's gone. Terrible. <laughs> 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 no, it's great, still. <laughs> oh, you know what? I like that. Yeah. I've got a block's nose as well, so this could sort of be right out. So it's now lunchtime. We're at a restaurant called Antonio's. It's a Portuguese restaurant and it's also Michelin recommended. So I'm gonna go in there and get some Portuguese grub. Very, very excited and very, very hungry. As per usual, when am I not hungry? Homemade roasted sausage. Time to try some spicy sausage. Wait, is it spicy? No, sausage with shoe. Sausages with shoe. 
<laughs> it's good. I was going to say my favourite quote. It's crispy on the outside. Very, very tasty and salty. And crispy on the outside. Look at this codfish cake. I think it's called bacalao in Portuguese, but it's so delicious. So much flavor. African chicken. <gasps> and then this is the sea bass. Why don't we go there and have some more wine? Cause like that meal was absolutely delicious. It was so much of the flavor, so fresh, so unique with how they present it and all the flavors they've used. So I really recommend it if you love, you want to like a really good Portuguese food or a creative flair then definitely come to Antonio's. There's nothing better than having great conversation, great company over good food. It's definitely one of like my favorite highlights of life in general. So yeah, and I think now we're gonna go meet the pandas. We've got an appointment with the pandas. Can't wait. How did you find the meal? Uh, I feel like a panda right now. <laughs> it was amazing food. Really, really good food and very good wine as well. So. Now I'm about to meet the pandas and I'm so excited! We are about to meet the baby pandas. I think there's four in total and the baby ones are nearly a year old and they're twins. But I've wanted to meet pandas for as long as I can remember and I had no idea that they had pandas in Macau. I've always watched in Chengdu. So I am beyond excited. I'm like... I want to be that man, I want to be the, the panda feeder. I mean, if I smell food, I would go there straight away. So amazing, they were so playful and they're so much more energetic than I thought as All well. The sun's covering my I head. thought they were always it's super like... lazy and they just sleep and eat, but they felt like they had like six espresso shots or something because they were just running around and playing um, and by far one of the best experiences. Oh, I love them so much and I think admission is only 10 Macau dollars, which is super super cheap considering that they're incredible animals to see and yeah, definitely make your way over here when you're in Macau. So it wouldn't be a shoe video without a street food. Oh, my dear, see ya. See ya. Mmm, how are you? Mmm, how the lovely owner just treated me to some durian ice cream, so if it's tasty, you know where to go. Gelatina Musang Mok Cake. Right, you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna stand like this so that we're the same height. <laughs> or I could just trip you up like that, that's just even better, yeah? Right, okay. We have some durian ice cream, which is a delicacy here in Macau. You either love it or hate it. it smells a bit, but there we go. You go first. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna have another little bit because I feel like that wasn't enough on the spoon to like. Get a really big bit. Okay, this is this is a bit of a heifer lump. The face kind of says it all. I don't like that. No. Your face is worse than mine almost. <laughs> Is that a no-go from both of us? <laughs> and then the initial taste is like... It's got, it's got an itchy it, aftertaste but it grows on, it grows on you, do you know what I mean? It gets really creamy. Do you want to try? It doesn't grow on me at all. Just give him one gigantic lump. <laughs> I like it. 
a very strong one. It's tropical afterwards, but at the start I think it's a bit overpowering. But then it does grow on you like Pineapple peach. undertones, I'll say. Yes! George, you're like lapping it up, look. Just finishing it. And the owner has oh. just given us some more treats because she's the best. Mango juice. Mango juice, oh, now you're talking. <laughs> oh. So now we have some sawdust pudding and this was in my notebook as one of their delicacies to try. The Portuguese name is Ceradura. Yes. Yeah? Did I get it right? Ceradura. Yeah. Ceradura. So let's give that a try and see how it compares to the durian. <laughs> sawdust pudding. Okay, right. Shall I do the honours? Yes. Go for it. Oh! Interesting. Smells like sawdust to be fair. Looks like it. It looks like it shouldn't be cold. Yeah, it looks like a apple crust a little bit. Mm. Mm. Is it good? Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's got a biscuit crust and it's got ice cream at the bottom. I'd actually recommend this. It's kind of like cheesecake. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'd say. Round robin of thumbs in the air, but we just don't care. Yeah, I'm going to Time for another sweet treat and this one is the almond biscuit which is super popular and they're just letting you try samples on the street so let's go. Mm. It's super crumbly, not overly sweet or anything. It's kind of like an unsweetened shortbread but a lot more harder in texture so yeah give it a try. And if you love your beef jerkies and pork jerkies then you're in luck because they also have a ton of that as well and they've got loads of different flavours everything from spicy to pepper to ones of juice infused jerky i know as if there's not enough food we are now off for dinner we are walking through grand hyatt hotel and we're going to go to the beijing kitchen restaurant for some duck down for that So turns out we've got our own private room and a lazy Susan and a bunch of food coming so mucho excited. Right then, so we have some ingredients for our duck. You can see across my shoulder, it's currently a fire burning in the background. As Ed Sheeran would say, I see fire. Oh. My apologies. Oh, it's a duck. Yeah. Yeah. Traditional Beijing style duck. <gasps> oh. That is a giant duck. Wow. Wow. Chef is not paying for it so much. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're good to hear that crunch. I will now proceed to tell you how to create the greatest duck pancake known to man. So the first thing you do is you pick up one of said pancakes that were here I mentioned before. Put it on your plate, take your plate. The crispy part of the duck that you pick up with your fingers, hand washed of course, you dump this in the sugar, which is step number two, just give it like that sort of crispy edge, which is uh, what we're all after these days. Then we have some of the inner duck that you pick up, wedge in on your plate like that. I love how I went from being all nice to being like, just wedge them in the middle, mate. Stick some cucumber, really nice crunchy cucumber just for that added texture. Just put that there, make sure it doesn't fall around a bit too much. And then we're looking for the onions. And we've got the duck sauce, which is uh, rather dark. You just stick it on there and just keep it nice and light. And then the garlic, which we don't have a spoon for. <laughs> just pour it in. I kind of don't want all of it in there. Yeah. So we're going to go one big fold there, another one there, another one little. This is this is the best duck wrap I've ever made now. And then you just bring it up there. I think we're going to take a bite now. This is the bit you've all been waiting for. Mmm. Mmm. Superfluous. Utterly astonishing. There we have it. Duck with George. I want all of that in the video. I want no cuts. <laughs> yeah. 